Welcome back to every NES game. This time we're looking at uh, Dan Sullivan's Indie Heat. Apparently Danny's giving us tips. That's nice of him. So yeah, this is a different type of racing game from the usual, as you can see from that demo. Who is Danny Sullivan? Uh, you, you don't care. Do it doesn't matter at all. So let's choose, uh, this guy from the, uh, No Fear, One Fear comic. Welcome, car! Now you can choose, uh, what type of upgrade you want. Or you can let Danny choose! Sure. Got a few upgrades from that. Including for Turbo! So yeah, instead of the usual facing towards a track that seems to appear from nowhere type of NES racing game, this is more like a... You know, a top-down uh, racing game. Now this type of racing game I know best from a uh, Kirby Air Ride. Uh, like, from the one mode that people forget exists from that game. Playing the red car, in case you're wondering. Unfortunately, it's very easy to run into walls this way. Thus, you have a lot of excuses to go back to the pit and reheal your car. Pits are like the white mages of racing games. You got a turbo, which only kind of does something. It's like the really half-assed version of the same thing from F-Zero. Somehow I won, though. And my twin was in third place. This actually shows your miles... miles per hour average, for some reason. Next race is all the way in New Jersey. So I just chose the same thing over and over. Mostly to make the pit stop quicker. There are a number of games like this from the around the 90s, but it's kind of feel like it's kind of, like, outdated, like, one of those things that a lot of people don't do anymore in racing games. I don't really have an opinion on it one way or another, but I just don't, do know that, at least on initial viewing. Oh, by the way. Yeah, getting hit too much just causes you to become really slow, and you run out of fuel, which is honestly just your HP. Yeah, control this with the control pad it is... or keyboard or whatever. Just kind of awkward. And I'm not sure how... if the game is any less awkward on a NES controller. Unfortunately, the yellow car beat us. 
Though I did get second place, I guess, somehow. And you get points, <laughs> depending on how well you do, like Mario Kart. Does acceleration like give you points in a similar way? I kind of assume so, but I don't know. Anyway, this track is slightly more complex looking. As you can tell, I, 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 I like it's so confused. Like you can go under that, right? No, no, the track's the other way. It is kind of cool that the entire track. On one screen. I don't know, I don't think I really get this type of racing game much. Did you guys know that Blizzard make, made one of these type of games back in the day? True story. Like, back in like, early 90s or whatever. <laughs> 